Here I have taken a PNG of a cookie that we are going to work on. Go to the effect panel, search for the setter effect and add it to this PNG. Now set its view to render and set the pattern to glass. Next I will set the repetition value to 55 so that it breaks into smaller pieces. Now I want to break it from the middle. So we will go to the new, create a white solid layer and hide it. Go back to the effect control. Set the gradient layer from none to the white solid layer and change the source to effect and mass. Set the shutter threshold to 3%. Now select the solid layer, choose the paint tools and create a mask over the area you want to break. Say like this. The speed seems too fast. So I will go to the physics in the effect control. Set the gravity to 0.5. Now it's look better, but I want them to move apart from each other. To do this, select the cookie layer and mask half of it. Then duplicate this layer and invert the mask so that the other half is visible. Click the stopwatch icon for the position and rotation. Open all keyframes, move a little forward in the timeline and adjust their position slightly. Move one here, the other there. Rotate them bit as well. Select all keyframe and create a flow and apply it. Now it will look something like this. Great right? If you want, you can break a heart instead of a cookie. If you are very angry, you can even break a piece of wood. Select the text tool and write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. As far as you want. Then write January, February, blah blah blah. The name of months as far as you need. Next, write the year. You guessed it right. I'm going to make a date animation. Now align them properly according to their last word or number. This will be our main date. Select the shape tool and create a rectangle to cover the main date. Select all these text layer and use trackmate to connect them to the shape layer. So only the main date will be visible. Next, I will create some marker on the timeline. Using these markers, I will trim the layers from the beginning. Now open the position property and using the markers, click the stopwatch and add keyframes like this. Go to the starting point of each layer and set the first word and the number in the entire text. Like one here, January in the month layer and the year accordingly. Now you know what to do next. Select all the keyframes and create a smooth flow and then apply it. This text seems a bit spaced out. So let's bring them closer together. The work is not finished yet. Turn on motion work for all the layers. Then select and pre-compose them. Now click on the stopwatch for the scale and the rotation properties. Go to the end point of timeline and make slightly adjustment to the scale and rotation. I want to add a glow effect. Increase the glow radius. And this is how it will look. Now I take a PNG of a person and adjust it properly on the screen. Then I select the pen tool and mask the head. Duplicate this PNG and set the mask of the duplicate layer to invert so the body is separated. The upper layer is a head. Click the stopwatch for the rotation and position properties. Then open both properties, we will place the anchor point of this head near to the neck and tilt the head slightly to the left. Move forward in the timeline and tilt the head to the right. Now copy this 4 keyframe and paste them further down the timeline. Select all keyframe and set them to toggle hold keyframe. This is how it will look. That's it. We are done. Take any logo PNG like Premium Pro. Add the setup effect to it as we did before. Set the view to rendered. 
Next, go to the save and set the depth value to 5. Set all value of force 1 and force 2 0 so that it does not animate automatically. Now go to the camera position. Click the stopwatch for Y rotation and change its value. Also the Z position value and click its stopwatch. This will be our end keyframe. Go back to the beginning of the timeline and change both values again. Select both keyframes and apply a smooth flow to them. And done without Cinema 4D and without any geometry option, your 3D animation is ready. Isn't it cool? I can even create a solar system without Cinema 4D. Want to know how? Watch this video. And bye bye.